did a four pillar of the medical, medical therapy, therapy the mras the rni and right. the beta blocker and the glt2 have really right. changed the game uh, but still in your clinical practice so what kind of patient you will be taking in for pci from the subset of ischemic cardiomyopathy patient yeah you know i think we have to be very clear on which patients were not included for example if a patient comes in with an mi and has cardiomyopathy clearly revascularization whether it's pci or cabbage is beneficial and uh, the trials the stitch and revive don't really apply to that and i think that's the key take home true because there is a lot of misconception trying to apply these to patients to patients with an mi true and you know i'm sure you have this i have multiple examples of patients where we revascularize with pci and the ef normalizes true. whereas in stitch and revive they showed like even with cabbage the improvement in ef is only 2 to 4% um so clearly mi patients we do in terms of um, what revive tells me first of all these trials are very underpowered and you were talking about sdlt2s those trials at 4000 8000 patients true now we are doing trials at 700 patients and trying to find a difference so uh, you know i think that's one of the major reason we don't see a difference but um you know what revive tells me is if you have ischemic cardiomyopathy i don't need to rush them to revascularize everything you know i can actually say we can start with medical therapy but we uh, you know i still offer revascularization more for symptom relief and also uh, because it even revived show that symptomatically they feel better and uh, to the fact that they can also prevent other events including um, uh, spontaneous mi in these patients